first interview on the My Blood Live channel. We'd like to welcome Mr. Honey J's himself, Chuck Black. Great to have you with us, my guy. Good to be here, man. Good to be here. Let the people know where you're from. from Suffolk, man. Suffolk, Virginia, all day. I see the merch. Merch is going crazy. Yeah. I see you yeah. came with some new products. I'm going to have to grab one of those myself. Yeah, man. Honey J's, man. Y'all can tap in. We got plenty of designs. Shouts out to one of my designers. He behind the camera right now. Yeah, all right. Now, we're going to put a link in the description for you, too. See, you've been dropping a lot of new content recently, including some of our collabs. But what new projects do you got coming? Uh, right now, I'm working on, well, we've completed a project. Me and Ray Major. Shouts out to Ray Major. Bird of Sun. It'll be available. 12, 23, 23 on all streaming platforms. Uh, right now, we got the, uh, one of the songs out. Open your eyes. We got the map block live to it. You know what I'm saying? The single out on all the platforms or whatever. Um, working on a project with Kazma from DMP. Shouts out to Kazma. Uh, we we dropping a single soon. We uh, we ain't came together on a date yet, but we about to get that in the works. Uh, you know, I got the Honey J's 2.5 out. Is out now already on all platforms. Just got a lot of shit coming, man. I popped into your Instagram live for a brief second last night, but can you give me some detail on what actually started the back and forth between you and Lex Luger? Uh, what, this time? Yeah, this time. All right, well, uh, Glass TV had made a post, something that uh, Lex was saying he didn't want to hear uh, niggas uh, talking about getting money or... Um, having cars and houses and shit because he's i guess he's saying basically like niggas don't some a lot of niggas don't have that shit that's what he say you know what i'm saying he shouted out a couple local artists you know what i'm saying that's doing their thing which you know what i'm saying shouts out to them um yeah so you know i made a comment up there you know because me personally i just felt like why you why what's your opinion you know what i mean and i guess he felt some type of way and he hopped in my dm you know, so talk crazy. Okay, okay. So have you and Lex ever actually met in person since he is from, you know, your city? I met Lex. I won't even say I met him like I had an altercation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I ain't gonna necessarily just say him, but the group he was in, you know what I'm saying? And apparently he was there, you know what I'm saying? Nothing happened. Police came, you know what I'm saying? People got in, in the between it or whatever. So know. that's nothing new? What's not new? That situation. I mean... How recent was that? Bro, that shit was like 07. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's not know, nothing you recent. You know, but, you know, some niggas hold little grudges and shit about shit, you know. Oh, true, okay. I understand. Do you feel as though Lex should feel the way he does? I mean, he has built a name for himself over the years in the music industry. What's your opinion on that? Should he feel the way he feel? I mean, shit, any man, they're entitled to feel how they want to feel. But as far as, like, your opinion and shit, everybody got one. But is it really relevant? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Some of the shit he talk about, I just think he just be talking just to be talking, you know. And he get mad when somebody else speaks some shit. I mean, that's what the internet for, though. I mean, yeah, internet, everybody get to, you know, speak their mind. Yeah, true. You know, I don't knock a nigga for what they speak. He speak, he say what he want to say. He can say what he want to say about me. I'm going to say what I want to say about him. You feel me? Anybody else, you know? It's the fucking internet. I saw from the screenshots that you posted that Lex said, quote, I'm the only real one that will address you lames. Pusha and Tim. They don't waste their time with you bums. What do you think he meant by that statement? And do you think he was speaking about Virginia as a whole or specifically the 757? I Ask me the first part of the question. What All do right. you think he meant by that statement? What he meant by, um, I honestly can't say what I think. I mean, I don't know what he meant by it for real. I could just take it for what he said, you know. Um, but personally, I feel like if if we're considered bombs and Pusha and Tim don't address certain shit, why do you? You feel what I'm saying? Like apparently you're a bum too. <laughs> you feel me? Like that's just how I feel. But 
you know, um, I just feel like, I don't know, but I think he left out of that category with them anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think they put him in that category. That's why he do address certain shit. And um, I, I do feel like, personally, I feel like he's talking more about Suffolk than he is the whole Virginia, but I feel like he's talking about it as a whole in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I mean, with that statement, I mean, it is kind of broad. Yeah. So I didn't. But, I mean, you know, I mean, like, Pusha and Tim, they, I ain't going to say they don't, they, I know they don't breeze through the city or whatever, but, like, it, the the shit ain't like it is everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, our music scene in, inside the city itself is different because we have the music scene, but it ain't like it's places where niggas go perform at all the time. You know what I'm saying? Shows and shit. You know, they ain't hand that shit out there. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Since Lex is notable and one of the biggest producers that ever come from Virginia, do you think he's in capacity to speak on the music scene in Virginia? Because he did leave Virginia and take on the identity with the Atlanta producers. So is his opinion still relevant? I don't think his opinion relevant, personally. You know, but everybody got their opinion. And I don't think he in the correct mental capacity to make an opinion. You know that you don't know what's on. You don't know what's going on out here, like bro. You're not on. You're not on the ground with it. You're not outside with it. None of that shit. You you on your internet with it. You know what I mean? You don't know. Nah. He's a lame. Do your research. You posted a meme with Lex's face on the Dave Chappelle Tyrone's Biggums. He did an interview with DJ Smalls about five years ago where he speaks on being sober. Are you saying that he relapsed? I feel like he relapsed. Like, you know, I, I seen that the interview with DJ Smalls, and you know, he just looks so full of life and full of joy. And you look at him now, it's like, bro, like he in a dark hole with a dark cloud over him. You know, yeah, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm. A, we know when you highlights. We know when you high. They still clown him, but yeah, we know when you highlights. So. Too many times. Have we as creators from Virginia heard that Push and Tim haven't done this and that for the music culture in Virginia? In comparison, do you think that Lex grabbing up a few artists or producers would have shined new light on the area? Um, I honestly do. And I've I've told him this before, like, you know, we've had me and him, we've had we 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 haven't had verbal conversations. But this is like the second time that he he DM me, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I honestly feel like if he had a reached out to the people that were with him, really with him, you know, because he he worked with a lot of people out here, you know what I'm saying? He might not admit it, they might not want to admit it because it might have been bad business involved, bad blood, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I think it would have helped a lot. You know, but he he told me some stuff, and I understood where he was at with it. You know, he was talking about the drug addiction and all this, and you know, and that's the reason why he couldn't do what he was supposed to do. But look at him again, so as I say, you tell me, yeah. But yeah, in my opinion, I I feel like it could have helped. My eyes wide shut, trying to stay blind to the BS. Niggas cross that line, give them five like a PS. I'm in a different class, yeah, my drive like a GS. I'm high as three jets, these niggas depressed. Ahead three steps, they watching like D Text. I feel like the best, flow rider like T West. Mike check, I murder dolls, see the effects. Push rhymes like, wait, these bars just a reflex. Now look at me and tell me what you look and see.